was right. <laughs> Almost everyone signed up. None of us are real singers. Let me tell you, it took me six weeks to convince the city fathers to support a carol ship, two weeks to talk John into letting me use the Silver Gale. <laughs> I'm quite sure I can make a decent choir out of even you bunch in two days. Oh, you've done this before, have you? You know, it broke my music teacher's heart when I gave up the trombone for journalism. <laughs> I had such magnificent potential. You mean we're just going to pile onto the Silver Gale and go up and down the harbor singing? Good heavens, Sarah, we don't pile, we assemble. <laughs> and you might note, we don't just sing, we perform. Sorry, Sal, I guess that's what I meant. <laughs> we'll have our first rehearsal at the tree trimming party this afternoon. Don't expect any miracles from us. Miracles are what Christmas is all about, Laurel. <laughs> way to Desolation Sound and it just quit. I can't believe it. Half an hour out of Vancouver and it's dead. This thing is still under warranty. I'm gonna kill that salesman? Joel, <laughs> you never were a wonder with machines. Uh, throw us your bow line, we'll tow you into the marina. How much is it gonna cost us? Oh, no problem. We're heading that way anyway. I'd rather pay. Well, suit yourself. Uh, $20. Deal. Don't mind, Joel. He spent a small fortune for this boat. <laughs> I don't think your warranty covers an empty gas tank. You read your gauge in there? I'm an investment broker, not a marine engineer. I didn't look. Yeah. Thanks. A uh, Merry Christmas. Tis the season to be jolly. Ba la 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 la. Join me now our gay apparel. Ba la 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 la. Troll the ancient Utah cattle. Ba la 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 la. This is music, not a trap me. The idea is to finish together, everybody. All right, let's see how we can mutilate the first Noel. That's um, number 17 for those who can't read. Well, if one of Santa's little elves can spare a minute, I'd like a coffee. Relic, why don't you help us decorate? Decorate? You should be arrested for littering. So glad you decided to join our little choir, Taffy. Mm. All right, people. The first Noel on my count. One, two. Oh, 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 hang on. Was you going to sing? Now? What did you imagine we were going to do? Ten pin bowling? Well, you can do it without me. Hold that coffee. It's hot chocolate. Oh. And don't start until I'm out of range. Well, I... Let me know what this looks like from the outside, huh?
school nearly rammed us. I am glad to be getting away from people for a few days. Mm. Spending Christmas alone was the best idea you've ever had, darling. Wow. Maybe the second best. Oh, to think of another holiday with your Aunt Clara. Uh, your brother and his family. Uh, your mother. And her boyfriend. His ex-wife's children. Office parties. The mailman. Fruitcake. <laughs> Thank you. Sir, give me a hand here, boys. Just don't just stand there and talk. Scoop McCoy. <laughs> what are you doing in the big city? Hmm? Oh, pure desperation, I guess, Relic, and I need supplies, too. And I thought I might stop up at the reach and get me a little bit of grub while I'm about it, you know. I'd stay away from the reach if I was you. I'm singing carols up there. What for? Christmas. Why, there goes my lunch. Hell's bells, Relic. I gotta leave my motor here for servicing. And say, say, Relic, if, if, if I was to pick up my supplies now, do, do you think you could tow me home? <laughs> for a man of your attitude and uh, maybe a $10 bill, how can I say no? Relic. Uh -huh. You know why bears hibernate when they do? No, what? So they can sleep right through Christmas, that's why. <laughs> yeah, birds fly south for the same reason, I hear. You dad blame right they do. And, and I mean, what's Christmas anyway, Relic? You happen to socialize with a bunch of people that you can't even stand. Spending good money on useless presents. Yeah, yeah, and, and people grinning at you like a bunch of idiots. Sing it. Uh, Sing them, that's even worse. Oh, say. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, you and me, Cook, we got fishing. Right. What's this? None of your business. Give me that. Well, much obliged to you, Relic. And you take care of yourself now, eh? Yeah. Yeah, sure, Cook. While you're at it, you want to bring here there's some peace and quiet. Really, come on, it's Christmas. Carols over the reach, carols on the dock. Man can't get away from all this caterwauling. Rightly, John, the moon that night. Gathering winter. Shut up! Right. Yes. 
know, I'm not much at speech making and toasting and the like. But you've always made Christmas a very special time for me. So here's to you. Merry Christmas, Eliza. This is impossible. You had every test known to modern science. That baby is not due until the 12th of January. For heaven's sake, Joel, we're talking about babies, not airplanes. They don't run on schedules, you know? Oh, terrific. You're in labor, and this thing is dead in the water. Well, I guess we're not out of gas. Oh, dear, this time we're not out of gas. I hope you remember everything from our prenatal class. Of course I do. Come on, people, let's go. We have to be to Hamelin Rock by uh, 8 o'clock. Oh, no. Sarah, do be a dear and run back and fetch the extra song sheets from the counter. There's a good girl. <laughs> insisted upon this thing. <laughs> okay, honey, let's go. We're out of here. Okay, Eliza, now this one is for you. working that thing right? No. Uh, you want to give it a try? Our doctor is in Hawaii. Hawaii? I can't reach anybody in Hawaii. I, I barely can get a hold of the reach on a good night. And it appears that this ain't a good night. Uh, emergency! Emergency! A uh, Cook McCoy on Clown Bay. Cook McCoy on Clown Bay calling anybody in Gibson's. Calling anybody in Gibson's. Over.
about delivering babies? Not a dad blame thing, ma'am. And after I found out that the stork didn't bring them, well, I quit asking. The table's set for two. Is your wife here? Oh, oh no, that's that's just my memories. That's that's all that is. And, and that ain't gonna do you no good anyway, is it? Well, we gotta do something. Well, the, how long do you think before the baby? And, you know... There's not much time. Did, do you know anything about this young man? Deep breathing. Lots of deep breathing. Ma'am, it, it looks like that you're right in the middle of the bush with a pair of idiots. If I was you, I'd be hoping for a miracle. Anybody around? use lots of hot water. Water? That's a good question. Jessica, why do they boil all that hot water in the movies? What is this, Trivial Pursuit? Do you believe in miracles? Yes, I do. Sing him another one, huh? spiritual relic? Uh, maybe she'd hum a few bars. There's a woman over there about to have a baby. You want to know what key it's in? We better get going. Got it, baby. 
baby boy. Hey. I, I mean, uh, uh, he, she, she they, they, they have a baby boy. I mean, <laughs> uh, everybody, everybody, I'm the new father, and I wanted to say thank you to you all. My wife and I ended up out here because we were trying to get away from Christmas. And I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't brought Christmas to us. Thanks. <laughs> so now, with Mr. McCoy's blessing, please come in and meet the new arrival. <laughs> You want to thank somebody, thank him. He heard your emergency call. My wife and I can't thank you enough. <laughs> because of what you've done for us, we'd like to name the baby after you. What is your name, by the way? Relic. Relic? One R, one E, one L, one I, one C. Relic. His name's Stafford. But I've always called him Taffy. Stafford? Taffy? <laughs> what a wonderful name! <laughs> oh. oh, dear. They're trying to sing without me. <laughs> it's a perfect Christmas, Relic. It would have never happened without you. Aren't you coming in? No, no. You go ahead. I'm not much for parties anyway. I'll come in later. Merry Christmas, Relic.